That's right, you can save your tears for another day because you won't be crying over a letter like this. So this is a web accessibility infringement compliance notice, the kind that cost you thousands. Now fixing this could mean the difference between a fine or making more sales. So now, let me show you. All right, so let's cut to the chase. Here's exactly what to expect in this video in just a few seconds. First, how to turn accessibility into sales with seven quick fixes. Next, the legal traps that are costing companies real money with names and numbers. And finally, a step-by-step -step WordPress workflow using one of the easiest tools to get you compliant fast and at the end stick around because we're giving away five premium licenses so you can fix your website today okay so first what is web accessibility well it means making sure that your website works for everyone so that includes people who may find it hard to read small text maybe see certain colors use the mouse or navigate tricky menus and by the way it is also increasingly required by law excellent so step number one revenue first accessibility so i'm going to show you seven fixes that move the needle so the goal here is to make it easier for more people to buy on your website very good so here are some simple yet powerful improvements number one can you navigate your website without a mouse so try it yourself get rid of the mouse altogether can you go from your home page directly to your checkout page using only the tab key very good so let's try this out with our own website mrweb.tv so i'm just going to use the tab key now so i'm going to press the key there you go so it's going to our logo when you one two three four five six and then request a quote now if i hit the enter key it should bring us to this page and now if i scroll down we have our request a quote form so obviously we don't sell anything on our website but as you can see we can navigate the website no problem only using the tab key second make your text and buttons clear so for this you have to use strong color contrast so your text is easy to read and your buttons stand out so let's imagine for a moment you have a section like this on your website obviously here the text and the button don't stand out enough there's not enough contrast compared to the background so what you need instead is something more like this as you can see black font black button at least this way you won't miss it third fix unclear form so every box or basically all your fields should have a clear label and any error message should explain exactly what's wrong also again make sure they can navigate the form using only the tab key back to our own website here this is our request a quote form as you can see every single field has its own label so you know exactly what to expect so this is for your name this is your email address what type of service you're after your budget and so on and so on so let's put this to the test using only the tab key can we navigate the form properly i'm just going to use the tab key again so let's try this together this is your name i can fill that out no problem my email address i'm going to the services i can send any services that i want i can go to the budget the time frame and also the description so that's clearly working or describe important images so for this you need to add short descriptions to your product photos or key images so everyone knows exactly what they show very good so we added a description to our image here so you won't see it if you're browsing without assisted tools but if you look at the description here if you go to inspect let me scroll down a little bit and now let me zoom in and here you can find the alt tag which is the alternate text containing the description so woman on the beach splashing water next you need to keep your content organized so that means using headings in the right order so first you need to have your title then your subtitle your paragraph and that way it's very easy to follow very good so this is how you should structure your page so first we have the title on top followed by the main heading so this is h1 followed by subheadings h2 and finally sub subheadings which are basically H3. Everything else in your content should be also structured organically. So you can use numbers, maybe bullet points or FAQs. And again, use title, questions and answers. So the next one doesn't apply to everyone, but it's important to know that this rule does exist is to let people control movement. So what does that mean exactly? Well, give them the option to post slideshows or animations. And finally, write meaningful link text. So instead of click here, 
tell people exactly where the link is going. For instance, request a quote or about us. Okay guys, so here's the simple truth. In many places, having an inaccessible website isn't just bad for business, it's actually against the law. So in the US, for instance, companies have been fined tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes even more, for ignoring accessibility. Target paid $6 million to settle a case over their inaccessible website. H&R Block was fined around $100,000 and forced to make their website accessible. Fashion Nova agreed to pay over $5 million in a settlement for accessibility issues. And it's not just big names. Many accessibility lawsuits settle for anywhere between five and twenty thousand dollars. All right, so now you know why this matters and what can happen if you ignore it. So let's switch gears and actually fix this. So I'm going to share my screen now and walk you through how to get Ally set up on your WordPress website in just a few minutes. Very good, so let's pretend this is our website. So obviously this is a test platform that I install. It's a demo website to test things out. So this is an e-commerce website. As you can see, you have indoor, outdoor, we have special offers, new arrivals, a few more information here, video and a few different products and also testimonials and our footer section. So this is the usual type of e-commerce website you might have. And obviously for this test, we assume that you are using WordPress, which is the case for most people nowadays online. Most people will use WordPress as their CMS system. So what we need to do is to install a free plugin. It's completely free, guys. Okay, so this one is called Ally. As you can see here, Ally is the plugin for web accessibility. So it's going to give you web accessibility simplified for every WordPress site. And again, it's completely free. Now, there is a paid version. So this is the one we are going to give away at the end of the video. Five licenses of the standard plan at $4.99. So make sure you stick around. So what's the difference between the free and the paid versions? It's very simple. The free versions, you don't have AI fixes. You cannot white label it. You don't have the screen reader, language selector, and you don't get access to the widget usage analytics. So that's basically it, guys. Now, if you need any of those functions, feel free to use any of those paid plans. But for now, we're going to start completely free. And for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. We go to the plugin section. It's going to add a new plugin. In the search box, look for Ally. And this is our very first one here on top. So simply install and then activate. Very good. And normally by the side, you should have a new tab called Ally. Simply click on it. Very good. So we have an onboarding process. So let's improve your website's accessibility. So let's get started. And then sign into your Elementor account. If you don't have one already, you can create one. Very good. And then you'll be redirected to this page afterwards. It's called the accessibility scan. So this is where you can basically scan your homepage and see if there are any issues with your website or not. So again, it's completely free and fully automated. Super, super handy indeed. And all we have to do is to click on this blue button here, scan homepage, and it will open up in a new tab. And as you can see, it's going to use the accessibility assistant to scan your website and find all the issues on our homepage. So as you can see, we have 28 of them at the minute. So we have quite a few here. So let's go through this together. Alternative text, 11 errors. Dynamic content in ARIA3, keyboard and assistive technology 3, page structure and navigation 1, and color contrast 11. So all together, I would say this is not too bad because the main issues would be those three here. Everything else is almost cosmetic and also mainly text that need to be added to our image. So this is quite easy to fix. So let's do that together. So let's have a look at some of the alternative text. So the first one is this one. So this is our shopping cart. As you can see, you can mark the image as decorative, but in our case, this isn't because this is an important one, obviously. This is our shopping cart. So anyone with accessibility issues would need to know that this is our shopping cart, obviously. And also we could maybe put here shopping cart icon okay and then we can mark it as resolved and then we have the hero section image here so this is clearly as decorative so we can mark it as so so resolve this one is a scroll down arrow i'm going to mark it as decorative as well this is just for design purposes this one here will bring you to a different category so these are clickable so clearly we want to add some text so this one is explore indoor category and we can do the same with the other one explore outdoor category and mark it as resolved and obviously you'll do the same with everything else you know and once done as you can see it's going to turn green with a check mark 
confirming that everything has been sorted out and then obviously you do the same with everything else on your page now obviously this section here was quite easy to solve and sort out ourselves now if you go to this one here dynamic content and aria let's click on this together and let's expand as you can see this is the issue we have at hand now clearly this issue here is not as easy to solve as the previous ones so this is how to resolve it you need to choose a built-in block or widget that already does what you need so it could be a button the heading a list etc so you need to be quite technical in order to fix this one or if you're not the techie type of person you can always use ai so for this all you have to do is click on this button here but as you can see this is part of a premium plan so that means you'll have to subscribe to one of those paid plans starting from the standard one at 4.99 for one website so this is the one I purchased myself here for this video. So as you can see, this is the purchase confirmation here. And now let me install that in the back end and then I'll meet you again here in the front end to test the AI feature. Very good. So as you can see now, I'm on the plus plan. So that means we can make use of all the premium features, including analytics. So let's put this to the test. OK, so let's go back here. We go to dynamic content. We have mismatch element role. So obviously, how do you solve this? We can use AI, okay? Instead of doing it ourselves, doing the hard work, let's use AI to resolve this for us. So let's click on this magic button here. There you go. As you can see, this has been resolved from red to blue and we can apply the fix. Very good. So now you can move on to the next one and do the exact same. Let AI solve all your issues. And there you go. In just a few seconds, I got all these sections sorted out thanks to AI. Once you have sorted out all your issues, you will find this icon here on your website. This is for the web accessibility if someone needs it. As you can see, they can display with bigger text, bigger line height, text align, a readable font, grayscale, contrast, page structure, and so on and so on. So let's try bigger font as an example here. If I click on this, as you can see, you can get 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, or twice the size altogether, you know. And this will apply to the whole page, obviously. So let me find some text here, maybe here underneath. Perfect. So let's try the bigger line height. As you can see, this is going to increase the line height by 1.3, 1.6 and by two and the text align you can change this as well left align maybe right align or center okay you can change the font as well readable font as you can see this is going to change the font as well to something easier to read you can change to grayscale you can change the contrast you can also access the whole page structure so it's easier for you to jump from one section to the other you have the reading mask as well so highlight the section of the website that you want to read so here you can easily read high end quality and then this line and then the second one the third one and so on and so on again very handy indeed and then you have the hide image as well so that's just pure text you have maybe the pause animation the online focus and also highlight links and as you can see our menu section has changed completely so these are all visible links now all in blue colors with underlined now this pop-up accessibility window can be opened and closed so maybe you want to know how many people are actually using this on your website which would be actually a very useful information to know now you can go to your back end here and this is where the analytics comes in if you click on this right here the track widget data if you enable this it will basically allow ally to record how visitors open and use your accessibility widget unlocking real-time analytics and once you do so you will know exactly how many people made use of this accessibility feature on your website which again is a super useful information to know all right so you made it to the end well done and as a reward here's a chance for you to win a one-year license to the standard plan which is worth $4.99 a month but it's all you have to do is to like the video and drop your funniest joke in the comment section that's all and i'll pick the top five that made me laugh the most and these will be our winners okay so the draw will happen in about a week's time and up until now well here are a few different videos a couple of them that you might want to watch